Imagine a substance so rare and valuable that a single gram is worth a staggering $62.5 trillion. This mind-boggling figure dwarfs the GDP of entire countries. If any country makes this substance, they would be considered as the world power. What is this substance? Where does it come from? And why is it so incredibly expensive? Today, we dive deep into the fascinating world of this elusive material, uncovering its origins, discovery, and the quest to obtain even the tiniest amounts of it. Our story begins with antimatter, a substance that has captured the imagination of scientists and science fiction enthusiasts alike. Antimatter is the counterpart to ordinary matter, consisting of antiparticles that mirror the particles that make up everything around us. When matter and antimatter meet, they annihilate each other, releasing immense amounts of energy. The existence of antimatter was first proposed by physicist Paul Dirac in 1928. Dirac's equations, which combined quantum mechanics and special relativity, predicted the existence of particles with the same mass as electrons but with opposite charge. These particles were later discovered and named positrons. In 1932, Carl Anderson, an American physicist, experimentally confirmed the existence of positrons while studying cosmic rays. This groundbreaking discovery earned Anderson a Nobel Prize and opened the door to a new realm of physics. Over the years, scientists have discovered other antiparticles, including antiprotons and antineutrons, further expanding our understanding of antimatter. So, why is antimatter so expensive? The primary reason is the incredible difficulty and costs associated with producing and storing it. Antimatter doesn't exist naturally on Earth in significant quantities. Instead, it must be created using particle accelerators, which require vast amounts of energy. Producing even a tiny amount of antimatter involves accelerating particles to near the speed of light and smashing them together. The collisions produce antiparticles, which are then captured and stored using sophisticated magnetic traps. This process is extremely inefficient, yielding only minute quantities of antimatter at an astronomical cost. To put it into perspective, the production cost of one gram of antimatter is estimated at around $62.5 trillion. This staggering figure is due to the enormous energy input, advanced technology, and infrastructure required to create and contain antimatter. Antimatter is incredibly scarce in our universe. However, it is naturally produced in certain high-energy processes, such as cosmic ray interactions and certain types of radioactive decay. These natural sources, while fascinating, produce antimatter in quantities far too small for practical use. The primary method of producing antimatter on Earth involves particle accelerators, such as those found at CERN, which is the European Organization for Nuclear Research in Switzerland. Kern's Large Hadron Collider, also known as the LHC, is one of the most advanced facilities capable of producing and studying antimatter. Despite the astronomical cost and technical challenges, scientists have managed to produce and store tiny amounts of antimatter. However, the quantities are minuscule, measured in nanograms rather than milligrams. For example, Kern has produced and trapped antimatter atoms, such as antihydrogen, for short periods of time. One of the most notable achievements in antimatter research was the production of antihydrogen atoms in 1995 at CERN. By combining antiprotons and positrons, researchers were able to create and briefly contain antihydrogen, paving the way for future experiments. While the current production of antimatter is not sufficient for practical applications, the potential uses of this extraordinary substance are tantalizing. Positron emission tomography scans, a widely used medical imaging technique, rely on positrons, which is a type of antimatter. Future advancements could lead to more precise and effective medical treatments using antimatter. The annihilation of matter and antimatter releases enormous amounts of energy, making antimatter a potential future energy source. However, the challenges of production and containment must be overcome before this becomes feasible. Antimatter propulsion could revolutionize space travel, offering incredibly efficient propulsion systems. A spacecraft powered by antimatter could potentially reach distant planets, 
and stars much faster than current technology allows. Studying antimatter helps scientists understand the fundamental laws of physics and the origins of the universe. Antimatter research could unlock new insights into the nature of matter, energy, and the cosmos. Despite its immense potential, the practical use of antimatter faces significant hurdles. The cost and complexity of production, along with the challenges of storage and containment, are major obstacles. However, advancements in technology and a deeper understanding of antimatter could pave the way for breakthroughs in the future. Researchers are continually exploring new methods to produce and store antimatter more efficiently. Innovations in particle accelerator technology, magnetic traps, and energy sources could one day make antimatter more accessible and practical. The idea of harvesting antimatter from natural sources, like the magnetic fields of planets where it is produced in trace amounts, is also being explored, although it remains far from practical implementation. Moreover, developing more efficient ways to produce antimatter on Earth could significantly reduce costs and increase availability, making its potential uses more feasible. In conclusion, antimatter is a substance of unparalleled value and scientific intrigue. Its discovery and the quest to understand it have pushed the boundaries of human knowledge and technology. While we are far from harnessing its full potential, the journey of exploration continues. Driven by the promise of revolutionary advancements in medicine, energy, space travel, and fundamental physics. As we look to the future, the story of antimatter reminds us of the incredible power of human curiosity and innovation. Who knows? One day, antimatter might not just be a substance worth $62.5 trillion per gram, but a cornerstone of our technological and scientific progress. Thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fascinating explorations into the mysteries of our universe. See you next time.